Good morning! Can you tell it's a better morning? I slept so good last night. I fell asleep pretty late, but I slept so good. And when I woke up, I felt so energized and I wasn't having the headache anymore because, you know, last night I was having a pretty horrible headache and now I'm feeling so much better and stronger and I'm feeling a lot, a lot better. So that's good. And if you can notice, today it's a sunny day. Um, I went outside to the post office because I got another... Um, phone case in the mail. I got this one. This is the super thin 0.3 millimeters uh, phone case and this was so cheap. It was a dollar and a half and it's so thin but it's pretty good like well made and this is perfect because I got this waterproof case which I am obsessed with. I got it. It looks like this and if I want to use the phone with the case that it's on it right now, this doesn't fit. So whenever I'm going to use that one, I will be using this case and they work perfectly together. And I got so happy when I saw that we have the little sticker in the mail and I went to the post office, got it. And I was so happy that it was this one because I tried the other day to use the... Um, uh, the waterproof one and with this case it doesn't fit well. It's too big. So with that case it will be perfect but So yeah, I feel so much better and so much happier today um, And as I showed you last night, I got that mascara that Jaclyn Hill recommended and I'm gonna try it for this week and I'm gonna do a review maybe towards the end of the week um, I really want to see how that works uh, I know it's more for lengthening not as much for volume I'm not a big fan just of the lengthening but we'll see and maybe I'm gonna put this one on top if it doesn't look good but I'm excited to try it so yeah that's what I've been doing this morning I've been editing as well um, Oh, what else? I did put the hook on the door and it looks so much better. Ooh, this is so clear. <laughs> um, and I feel so good. And in the morning, I had such a great breakfast and I feel, I feel so good. And um, yes, I'm still in my PJs because I just went to the post office and I got the jacket on so I didn't need to change the top. And yeah. It's a beautiful morning and you can see my acne. I have two big acne spots right here and one somewhere over here. Uh, and they got crazy and I put this thing overnight. And usually when I'm applying this, after three nights or so, if it's a huge pimple like mine are, this thing solves them so good. I'm not doing too much today. Uh, but tomorrow we're gonna leave because my grandma, as I said, came in the city and uh, she is now with my mom's sister and tomorrow she's going at my mom's brother and we're gonna go there too and we're gonna dye her hair and my mom is gonna give her a haircut um, and whatnot. So for today I'm not going to play with makeup or anything but for tomorrow I'm gonna do uh, so today I was thinking to put a mask on the face or something so it looks a bit better. Uh, I don't know, maybe later. I have a clay mask, like a mud mask, and I'm, I'm gonna try that one. I've tried it for a few times and it works so good. So I might put it today on the face. Who knows, but yeah. I'm watching is Judy's Life vlog. And they just announced that Amy and Julian are going to have a baby boy. And I'm so, so happy for them. Uh, I just love this family a lot. They are so, they're from Philippines, if you don't know them. I'm sure you know, but <laughs> they're from Philippines. And they have pretty uh, similar lifestyles as the ones in my country. They are pretty different than the typical Americans and I love that so I love watching them they're my favorite vloggers and also the Sakoni Jollies they're the best family vloggers ever so I'm just watching her vlog I didn't finish it yet um, so yeah so I finished editing the empties part 2 and now 
I am going to wash my brushes. I have them laying here because tomorrow, as I said, I'm gonna do my makeup and I wanna have clean brushes. And um, yeah, I finished watching the vlog. I watched Chabela's Bimboozle Challenge. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I really wanna do the Bimboozle Challenge with someone and have a video on that because I feel like it's so funny and I want to do it so bad even though they taste so nasty uh, so yeah I'm gonna watch these and uh, I'm gonna start editing this vlog or the vlog from yesterday because I think I'm gonna put that vlog in a clip in a video and the vlog from today and maybe from tomorrow in a separate video depending on how much footage I get um, so yeah I'm going to wash those babies and I'm gonna show you how they look after they are cleaned. Oh yeah, look at those babies. They are so clean. And as I mentioned to you yesterday, um, the water heater doesn't work anymore and we don't have hot water, so my hands are frozen. And actually it's not funny because I don't know how we're gonna take showers. I think we have to boil water and then pour it on the body because we don't have hot water that is not even warm so my hands are frozen and even if you touch the brushes they are completely frozen so I think we have to boil water like people did hundreds of years ago which is so uh, it's terrifying because I don't know I like warm water when I'm doing the shower and I think everyone does that but yeah so anyway, so I have been hardcore editing for the past hours, I would say, yeah, definitely hours. Um, I have started editing the vlog from yesterday and also started editing a makeup haul that I filmed a while ago, like a few days, almost a week or something ago, I don't remember. But I started editing that because after the empties video, I think that's what I'm gonna post. So I started editing that hardcore editing so far. And I also fall asleep a little bit. I may look weird. And then I was looking um, on eBay on some, um, how are these called, matte hard case covers for your keyboard and for your uh, MacBook so they look like this come on they look like this and I really want to get this one this color it is absolutely beautiful is that turquoise Tiffany blue I have been loving this color a lot and recently I feel like I'm loving it so much uh, probably it is my third color after purple and pink uh, it's really nice so I want to get this one exactly this one and they also come with let's see with something that you put over your keyboard because I've seen everyone using them what made me want to buy it is that I lost a screw on the side of my laptop and that is because I don't protect it enough and even here on the sides um, you can see but it's something like I scratched it or something and it feels really weird so I really want to get a cover to protect it and um, I didn't realize that I lost the screw until today um, I knew this was um, like a little bit loosened I had only good experiences with eBay everything that I ordered came in about a month and it came in perfect condition nothing broke or anything I'm really really happy with my waterproof case that is like so good um, I got it because I wanted during the summer to take pictures and the water and stuff like that so I'm really um, happy that I got it and it wasn't expensive I think it was like ten dollars or something um it's really cool so um, yeah and even the case that i have on my phone is from ebay as well pretty much all the things that i buy we can get most of them here 
Um, so I ordered them on eBay because this phone case that I have, I think I would pay ten dollars. 12 15 dollars here depending on where you buy it and i don't think i paid more than five dollars on ebay so awesome deal and so i told you that i'm gonna explain what have been going on lately and um why i haven't vlogged why i haven't filled that well and all that stuff so um for the past month i would say i was just feeling so tired and so out of energy and so I was kind of under the weather kind of depressed I was having some anxiety moments and some some moments that I haven't had in a while and just too much stress not just with school but with um family and you know everything is not like something specific it is everything on top of each other things piled on and I just um, I had some meltdowns I had one at the beginning of the month and then I had one around I would say January 16th 15th somewhere around there and I was I remember that day it was Friday and that night I didn't sleep that well and when I woke up in the morning I was having a headache I thought it will go away because I took some pills and something very dramatic in the morning so I thought you know I'm gonna take the pills that I usually take when I have headaches and that it will go away and then I left for school and after about two and something hours I had to leave because I just couldn't stay anymore. I was feeling so bad. I was shaking. I was... I just couldn't stay straight. I was... You know, I was so dizzy. And so... Um, the, the headache was horrible. Um, I had to call my mom and tell her that I come back home. Nobody was home. And uh, I came home... I was feeling like throwing up, um, I took some pills, I made myself a tea, tried to breathe some, breathe some fresh air and it was so horrible and that night I throw up, I, I was just feeling so awful, like awful, I was not myself and for the past month I was feeling really, I almost um, I had some depression days where I felt so, I don't know, so I was questioning and asking myself, why that, why this? But I got to a point where I was like, I can't anymore. I just wanted to, st I, I, I had a few mornings where I didn't want to wake up because I just couldn't, you know? After a whole night of sleeping, I was still feeling tired. So, I don't know, it's just been a month really a really tough month um but i don't know i just i have to think that um it's not like the end of the world or anything and uh kind of sent kind of changed my mindset a little bit because i was always stressing to make everything perfect please everybody at school um, to try to give everything at school and give the best and uh, try to please every single teacher all the kids and uh, all my classmates and stuff and it was just people were pulling me in every direction and I got so exhausted like I just couldn't anymore I was feeling so out of energy people were soaking the energy out of me and so I was just feeling like I couldn't and even at home so many things were happening um, it was just so I don't know like it was a time um, not that I didn't have before but it was something different I don't know exactly how to explain it because you know now on camera explaining it it may not seem as dramatic or as 
like how it was but yeah so I had one day um, I didn't go to the first hour I went from the second class because I couldn't get out of bed uh, and not that I was lazy or something I just couldn't get out of bed I didn't have the energy and I don't know I just was feeling so I wanted to stay a bit more and kind of set my mind and then I went from the second class but um, overall from this month and from this experience I uh, started kind of changing my mindset and I was telling myself this thing before because I was kind of expecting this to happen because I always put um, myself in so many things and I let people um, like push me and uh, I let people pull me in every direction and um, I was just trying to make everything perfect not disappoint anybody and um, I was just I wanted everything to be perfect and um, I was not putting myself on the first place you know and so I thought myself this at the beginning of the year I'm gonna put myself on the first place I'm gonna take care of my health and I'm gonna take care of me and people that I truly love the very close people and then I'm gonna stress about other things and and that day on Friday when I went to school and had to come back after two hours my history teacher uh, saw me and he was like Andra what's happening with you I've never seen you so down I was just I was trying to sleep on the desk and I never do that because I couldn't help I couldn't um, keep my eyes open it was just so dizzy and it was like a pressure in my head so he told me you want to leave now and I was like no I have to clarify some things for history for chemistry and for physics so I want to stay more and he was like no your health is more important um, why do you want to stay and I was like no because I have to clarify some things and he was like well, what's the most important, you or to have a grade for now and be health unhealthy and unhappy later? And he was like, think twice. And that made me, that was, that has such an impact on me. And I was thinking that night and I realized that he was true. I was, I think I put too much pressure on myself and um, it may not seem like but it is and it, this is just what I think but what he said made me really think about it and so yeah that's kind of what have been happening for the past month and um, yeah that's what I wanted to explain you guys and I hope you um, understand and not judge me because I'm trying to tell you all those things now but they're not like not even half of the intensity and of the power that they had when they happened you know because I'm telling you now but it's just not the same so I hope you understand and I hope this didn't turn out too dramatic or too you know you know what I'm trying to say I don't know, I, I don't think I'm making any sense, but anyway, yeah, that was everything for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. If I'm gonna vlog, I think I'm gonna vlog, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!